Wait, are you sure you want to eat that juicy burger? What if it contains viruses that cause colon cancer? Nobel Prize winner Harold Herzhausen thinks it might. He suspects that the consumption of viruses carried in beef contributes to rising colon cancer rates. The 78-year-old German scientist explained his hypothesis about cow virus at the December 2008 Nobel Prize lecture in Stockholm, Sweden. That was followed by a 2012 paper in which he explained the reasons to suspect the link between cattle virus and colon cancer. Now keep in mind that Sir Hausen is a true scientific heavyweight. His research contributions have helped to dramatically reduce the frequency and mortality of cervical cancer. Zerhausen proposed that cervical cancer was caused by a virus or set of viruses. He was initially ridiculed by his colleagues who felt the idea of cancer being caused by an infectious agent was preposterous. However, Zerhausen's perseverance and rigorous scientific methods eventually carried the day, ultimately leading to his 2008 Nobel Prize. Because of the work of Zerhausen and others, young women can now get a vaccine called the HPV vaccine that prevents nearly 100% of all cervical cancers, saving countless lives. Viruses have also been linked to other types of cancers. In fact, Zerhausen has claimed that about 20%, one in five, of all global cancers can be linked to infectious viral agents. Which brings us back to red meat and colon cancer. There is substantial evidence that red meat might be linked with colon cancer. For example, there is a high rate of colon cancer in countries with a high rate of beef consumption. In contrast, in India, where beef is avoided for religious reasons, there is one of the lowest rates of colon cancer in the world. Also, there has been an increase in colon cancer rates in Japan and South Korea beginning in 1975, this increase in cancer rates was preceded by an increase in beef, pork, and dairy imports. While Zerhausen says that no clear-cut data is yet available, paying attention to his suspicions and eating less red meat could save your life. And not only that, eating less red meat would simultaneously improve the environment in a myriad of ways and would reduce the risk of climate change. Sign up to receive regular updates from Physicians Against Red Meat. We'll keep you posted on the latest and most important news about red meat and its impact on the environment, your health, and the health of our planet. This is Dr. Mike Martin, founder and president of Physicians Against Red Meat. I want you to live a long, healthy, and happy life. Thanks for listening.